Hi Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a 3,000 acre cornfield located in western Kentucky. In this video I would like to take you out into the field so that you can experience the harvest on the ground and in the cab of the machinery at work. The corn harvesting lineup includes two Class 9 Case IH 9250 Axle Flow Combines. These machines are rated at 550 engine horsepower and have 410 bushels of grain bin storage capacity. They're operating Case IH 4416 16 row 30 inch corn heads that are 40 foot wide. As these big combines roll across the field, they have to unload three times to reach the other side. That's when they swing out their 28 foot 9 inch long unloading augers that pour corn out at 4.5 bushels per second into waiting 1,000 bushel Kinsey grain carts operated by a pair of Case IH quad track tractors rated at 620 and 580 engine horsepower. Now that you know a little bit more about the machinery at work, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this corn harvesting action. cab of a Case IH 9250 Axle Flow Combine and it's harvesting corn here in a 3,000 acre field here in western Kentucky. It's quite a view and some really long roads. Jay said it must be a lot of long hours going back and forth across here. Yeah, it takes a few days. We spend a lot of time out here. How many acres an hour do you try to get with a combine like this in a 16 row head? Oh, we can average about 15 acres per machine, so 30 acres an hour is what we're trying to achieve with our 9250s. How many hours do you put in a day? We'll run about 10, 8 to 10 hours, depending on how wet the corn is. We got a 30,000 bushel wet tank, so we try to fill it up every night before we leave. Well, I imagine that's the, the limiting factor with the combines and the making sure you have enough trucks to keep it hauled away. Yeah, we run eight non-drivers and trucks. That's all they can do to haul it. So how do you like running the, the 9250 and the 16 row head? Good good match? Yeah, I like it a lot. Running 16 row planters, it matches up good. Never run them on hot roads. You can get a lot done in a hurry. So one of the reasons you run the, the 40 foot head is everything's kind of uncontrolled traffic and strip till. Yep, we're running a 16 row Ag Guru strip tiller. We're really happy with that. We do cover crop in the middles and then we're planting with 16 row planters, side dressing 16 rows of corn. It's all, all on the same row every year. Well, it looks like a healthy crop out there. You're running just under three miles per hour with the, with the combine. Yeah, it's a really good crop this year. We're fortunate to irrigate a lot of acres. What we didn't irrigate, it's still pretty good, can't complain. So this year the farm I filmed actually almost in these same passes in the spring. Uh, you had the 2150S yep. planter. How, how have you liked the results from that? We were really happy with that. That planter is good. It, it fits us well with all our double crop bean acres being able to plant beans and corn the same planter. It did a really good job for us. Well, it looks like a picket fence out there for sure. And this combine must keep the grain cart operators busy because you're rolling out of about 5,000 bushels an hour. So that's, that's a lot of grain. Oh yeah, we got to run two big Kinsey grain carts. By the time one gets the truck and gets unloaded, the other one's headed that way. Well, let's see the next one pulling up here. This is the 620 quad. It's 
So I know a lot of people will ask, you know, why the big quad tracks on the grain carts, you know, maybe in Indiana where it's super flat, a 380 or 400 Magnum could do it, but. Yeah, we run big, we need the big horsepower full strip fillers in the fall, so they, they work good for us. And these big long rows we're running, when he gets loaded up with a thousand bushel of corn, he needs to be able to get up and go and get back to the truck. Coming up down these hills in this part of our country, a lot of power. We're going up one of those hills right now and we can see the cart getting topped off. That's a lot of corn. So the 620 and the 1100 head out. And then the 580 and the 1050 pull right back in to finish off the combine. This is a rolling field in the quad track. The Kinsey on the soft tracks just rolls right over the slopes and does a nice job. We're catching up with the combines at about the halfway mark across this pass. The carts can take three grain bin loads from the combines. You can see the 620 and the 1100 Kinsey cart swinging back in to catch the third load from the second 9250.
the AFS Connect Quattrax have great visibility with this cab. You can see very clean with the instrumentation all on a digital display on the corner post. All the controls here on the right side. Good visibility of the work going on in front of the tractor. A lot of people always ask about these big mufflers and the canister over here. Um, it looks big on the outside of the field, but from the operator's position, it doesn't have any obstruction to the view of the field. See how they're rolling together very nicely down this slope and that adjustable auger spout allows it to fill all the corners of the cart. And these big tractors are great for carrying the weight of all that corn. And almost as soon as one combine is empty, the other one is nearly full, and the 620 is heading back up to the trucks. And we can see that beacon light coming on on the first 9250, that it's 75% full and ready to unload. See that 16 row corn head taking in 40 feet of corn. Again, good visibility from the combine cab, the tractor cab. And that pivoting spout does a nice job in putting the corn right where farmer wants it to be in the center of the grain cart and as it fills up we'll be able to fill in the corners.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with these Case IH Axle Flow Combines and Quad Track Tractors. I would like to hear in the comments section below this video, if you raise corn on your farm, tell me about the combine and tractors that you use to harvest your crop. If you've appreciated this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see some bonus footage from the harvest in this 3,000 acre field, continue to watch for a few more seconds seconds to the end screen for a direct link to a live video that was filmed in the field after the sun went down. As always, thank you for watching.